God is making your enemies your footstool at this time. Okay. It is like, this is the energy I've been channeling and I have like been getting so much information about this, but the scripture that kept coming to me was the headstone, which the few, which the builders refused become, became the headstone of the corner. See these people, they slept on you collective. They slept on you. And it's like the, the situation that I keep seeing like happening and like, in the ethers for these people is that God is bringing these people to their knees. Okay. To their knees, all of their options and all of their other ways that they need, they didn't, that they thought that they didn't needed you are drying up. Okay. All their little options, all the little things that they thought that they had in, in, in a position to kind of like, um, you know, basically get over you basically trying to, um, replace you in some type of way. These options, these people, these all of their little different tricks and gadgets that they thought they had are drying up. It's like the the energy that I kept seeing right was a father beating the living shit out of somebody that was disrespecting their child. Okay, and it's to the point where the Most High is bringing these people to their knees, almost like they have to grovel. Okay, to beg you for your forgiveness. They thought they didn't have to. They they didn't think they was gonna have to beg you for your forgiveness. They didn't think that they was gonna have to need you again. But in their time right now, it's like it's coming full circle for the, your enemies, for these people, places, and things that thought they was getting away with something collective. Yo, the energy that I've been getting has been crazy, and I was getting some um other channel information in this situation. It was like. I kept seeing like a father beating the hell out of someone and then bringing them back to their child, almost like their fate is in your hands. It was like at one point in time when you was in their life, you literally kept harm away from them. Your energy was so powerful and so pure that it kept all types of energies away from them, even their karma. It kept away from them, okay? And then, and, and as you were helping them, you found that your fortune was starting to deplete being around this person. This is how you know that person was an energy vampire, was not a person that was good for your energy or for your auric field, okay? See, this karma coming around for folks, okay? We already in year eight now, okay? Karma's going to come around. I keep hearing what you're going to do when karma come around. So time to tuck the tail, karma copping out. When I tell you, these people are having to have to come back to you with their tail tucked between their god dang legs. If you haven't already experienced this person already being relentless, not letting the collective go and not allowing the collective to move on. OK, it's possible you had to have dealt with this person probably during New Year's or before in the holidays. Or this is something that may happen for you in the future. But this is the energy. OK, <laughs> I kept hearing the song by Nicki Minaj, Hard White. OK, get into it that way. I ain't coming through unless the back straight. I used to work hard, used to get half back. See, you used to give so much energy to this person just to get crumbs. OK, this person used to breadcrumb you. This person used to try to use, manipulate and abuse you and multiple different for ways. I'm sensing this person even may have had some type of narcissistic or type of uh, 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 mental issue. Okay. This could even be a personality disorder or sociopath. Okay. This person Okay, I'm even since this person may have had a drinking issue or some type of addictive behavior, whether that was through sex, whether that's through money, whether that's through gambling, whether that's through um just addictive, negative, toxic behaviors, it was this person, okay? Also, I kept hearing this song by LL Cool J, I'm Gonna Love You Better. Like, this person want to come around talking about they want to start anew with you. They saying they could come back around and love you better, but this person doesn't even know how to love themselves. Therefore, how can they love you, right? They already showed you who they were, so you got to believe them the first time, right? That's what I kept, I kept picking up the, um, the, the, the Psalm, that was the Psalm that I kept since it was, uh, 118, 22, 23. So you could be born on January 18th, or you'll be born in January or this person, um, or it has something to do with this date, or you could be 23 or 22, or you could be born on the 22nd or the 23rd of a month. Okay. That's very significant for someone, or you could be saying five, five, five. Okay. Or four, four, four. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, these are the, the also I kept saying like uh 2022 could have been significant uh 2023. So you could have broke up with this person maybe a year or within 2023 or the, towards the end of 2023. Okay, I kept seeing angel number 222 which could be very very significant for somebody, okay? So let's go more into this energy. I keep also seeing the letter C. That could be uh the letter of your name or his name or her name, whichever one, okay? Yeah, this part, yo, this person believed their own freaking lies, yo. This person believed their own lies. Okay, I have used people to get what I need by any means. See, this person was an opportunist. Okay, this person was trying to use you, and this is why this person may have tried to come back around because they're trying to use you. Okay, they using up all their options. Okay, this person ghosted you because they was a little bitch. They didn't have no, they have no like, um. They had no honor, basically. This person just didn't uh, didn't know how to deal with the fears of the heart. This person. I want to make things right, and uh, will you give me another chance? See, this person, like I said, this person wanted to come back around because they know if they come back around to you, you possibly can help them with their karma, okay? And it's just a self-interest. New love, but you got new love or soulmate that's coming in. Some of you may be talking to somebody, or that's something that's coming into the horizon for some of you guys in the near future. This person is currently having an ego death, especially if this person had narcissistic personality disorder or any type of big ego issue with this person. You said, I've changed when they I changed when you stopped. I I changed. When they stepped out on the connection. See, this person changed when they stepped out on the connection. Like, this is how you knew this person was basically being unfaithful. Like, they started changing and switching on you. The things that they were doing wasn't adding up. And that's how you just knew that this person was had a, uh, a situation going on that was meant, wasn't being honest about. Okay? You gave me everything. I gave you pain. I know what I was doing. See, this person knows exactly what they're doing. They have a pattern. Okay? They do this in other relationships. They possibly even try to make it seem like the other people were crazy, but it was really them the whole time because now you're on the receiving end okay this person had childhood wounds childhood traumas okay then i say with this ego that definitely some narcissistic personality this person's experiencing karmic justice i'm trying to tell you guys this is just the energy of these people this is why they're coming around why they're not stopping because they really see that shit's about to pop off okay it ain't looking too pretty for them i thought my mind games would work see this person played hella mind games on you okay this person thought that you would be gullible, thought that you would be out here stupid, okay? Yeah, this person had big money issues, yo. Big money issues right here. Big money issues, bro. I'm telling you, collective, this person is going to be coming around. If they fucking don't have their money for their bills, they're coming around to you. Okay, this person is insecure, was insecure, so they try to make you insecure by devaluing you, by making you feel like you were less than, just so you won't leave. Okay, pass the test. But you pass the test. See, y'all already know. Y'all already put these people, y'all already pushed it away. Y'all on a new vibe for 2024, okay? You're no longer with this shit. You're no longer dealing with folks. Like, hell to the no, no, no. <laughs> okay, genre, earth. Okay, this person could be an earth sign or you. Okay, you can have a J in your name. You can be born between December thir uh, 13th or December or December 28th, or it was in between sad season and cap season, where this person was, you probably had a conversation with them. Something had came into fruition where this person was trying to uh, find some balance, okay? This person definitely took action towards you, okay? Yeah, uh, also you can have a letter C in your name. Um, Kenneth, so you received some type of knowledge or enlightenment about your connection. You can have a K or a Q, or this person can have that in their name, or you could be a fire sign, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Also, September 13th to uh, September 28th could be significant dates, okay? You are this person also the x the letter x as well can be a, a significant see you guys had a polarity okay so see you guys were very very different you and him was like light and dark between y'all two okay january 29th between august 13th could be significant so you could be leo or you could be born in between this time frame or you could be born in august okay but there was a defense this person had like huge like defensive issues okay conflict between y'all two okay always was trying to be bigger than who just trying to makes themselves bigger than who they actually were, but they were actually child inside. Okay? That's what I see. Yeah, also letter R. You can have an R in your name. Okay, the wheel is, is turning in your favor. Okay, you be born August, between August 29th and September 13th. So you can be a Virgo. Okay? Yeah, or this person. Okay, this is, right now, you're currently on the right path, okay? So, you are doing exactly what you need to do. Not worry about this person. Just look towards your future, okay? Love you. Bye.